So anyone that's been watching for a while now will have realised that recently I have refound my love of model kits. Much to the dismay of other members of the bunker who would rather spend the time in the active and constructive pursuit of board games and miniature war games. But it has rekindled my enthusiasm for painting to a large extent, which has been kind of nice as well. Working my way through, I've just finished the Battlestar Galactica and um, sort of... A fifth of the way through a cutaway uh, original Enterprise. And this is all leading up to building a ridiculously huge uh, Space 1999 Eagle Transporter. However, Miranda class, the USS Reliant. Now, the disappointment factor is mild. And this isn't uh, anybody's fault. This kit came from uh, Mike Jolly, uh, Model Kits and Hobbies. Um, but I kind of wanted the big Reliant. But we, we break down communications and I ordered the small one instead. 1 to 1000 scale. It's tiny. But it's cute. Not going to be able to do maybe what I had in mind with it. But you know what? I'm going to enjoy doing this one anyway. I had not realised it's a snap together kit. It couldn't get any easier. Really, could it? Um, so yeah, the Reliant. Obviously, Star Trek, Wrath of Khan, uh, Cannon and Sing. And his cronies uh, took it over. Normally a crew of 237. And him and his sort of, I think about a dozen lackeys, managed to uh, to take it over and run it. And gave Kirk a good run for his money uh, against the Enterprise A, as it was. So yeah, not, as you can expect, not an awful lot in the box. Instructions transfers so kind of interesting bits that i do like about this one is as well uh the dome base so you can do sort of your typical planet texture thing if you want on that and the metal rod there is actually a uh, ball joint socket there to put on the end of the rod so you can do the Miranda class at a jaunty angle if you so like banking around um your space station or something like that if you're building a space station because i'm also building K7, but I'm going to have to change it because the kit's kind of crap. There's no detail on it at all, so I'm going to have to do some stuff with that to make it exciting. Anyway, back to this one. So yeah, there's 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 essentially three packets of bits here. We have our snap together primary hull, um, which despite the size of it, loads of wee details, all the recesses are there. Now you're not going to get the Aztec pattern. This would be the sort of the standard hull pattern. Kind of pre-refit really where it's just the, the the tiled blocks the aztec pattern requires a bit more fancy paint work than that though i think they do cheat i think you can actually buy aztec uh transfers for this as well will we try and paint aztec pattern that would be a work of insanity and then when you jump into this frame it is it's the roll cage and the warp nacelles and the bridge which you know tiny not an awful lot to show you unfortunately and then the crystally clear parts for uh, impulse engines the warp nacelles the um what's the, uh, the phasers yeah and i think we have the deflector dish array there as well yeah so you can back paint them with nice vibrant uh sky blues reds uh and whatnot to try and make them really stand out i dare say you probably could fit like a fiber optic light kit into this there's not an awful lot of a void space there's a little bit of space underneath the the base but even the warp nacelles are are quite slender so i think a fiber optic -y thing would be the way to go if you were going to go that way oh maybe that's broken off what's that that's just part of the roll cage yeah, there's 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 really there's really no space in there at all. Those those are fairly flush, to be honest now. Hmm, okay. I can probably build this while we're talking, except they do recommend you kinda paint the sub assemblies. It's funny in a in a in a snap together kit, yeah actually still recommend you building sub assemblies. I'm not gonna make the mistake of snapping this together. But yeah. It's it's not a bad size. Like there's you know, it's not gonna get much bigger than that. It's gonna be about nine, nine inches long, thereabouts. The arm was gonna be about 
17 inches long. That'd be awesome. It would have, I would have done lights in that, I have to say. Because I think these ones look well lit up. No windows or anything like that. What I did, just glance there. Yeah, all the windows in this one are little black specks of transfers to go on in the various places. Um, we've got the standard registry markings and things like that there. No other version options. You can only do uh, the Reliant. Um, yeah, that's yeah, decent enough. It's like a 30 odd pound kit. Maybe, you know, maybe. Well, you've got a license, of course, attached to that, which is why you kept that small, maybe, is, is that kind of money. And I think there's a bit more plumbing goes into making them snap together. Not that we need to snap together. But no, kind of looking forward to it. That one, now, because it's not the big one, I'm probably not going to race out and start doing that one tomorrow, as I say. Just finishing off, or finished off Galactica, just its base to, to round off, which I put outside to spray yesterday and forgot to bring in and there was that storm and wind i might have to go hunting in the back garden for that of course the paint might have glued it to the table i was spraying it on anyway i digress um the the goal at the end of the day is to, to work up the courage to build paint and build build and paint in bits this uh, space 1999 eagle transporter which I've, I've shown you before in a video it's just a monumental task and I'm, I'm utterly terrified of touching it so i keep trying to tackle all these other awkward multi-part kits that that i can afford to get wrong in my head um but still have some sort of use like the k7 i can use in battlefleet gothic i can use in star trek games because it's just it's that kind of size it'll work um the galactic i'm going to use in full thrust the cutaway enterprise is for no purpose. I can use it on the table behind me when I run Star Trek role playing games. There we go. And this, this, um, I've got no excuse for this, frankly. I just got carried away and ordered an kit. I'll, there you go. Sorry. I'll try and not do it again. But Polar Lights, USS Reliant, skill level 2, ages 10 to adult. If you find a responsible one, let me know. Uh, yeah, it's a nice wee kit. 30 odd bucks. If that tickles your fancy, go and give it a go. I'll do maybe a wee build video and I'm sure it'll take like 10 minutes or something. Thanks for watching.